Well, welcome, guys. Uh, my name is Jeff, and uh, I'm uh, the one of the tech guys here at Valley, and uh, Kevin here. I'm Kevin, uh, Born's <laughs> brother, for those of you who don't know. I'm always in the back, but I'm here, and I make him sound far better than he actually is. <laughs> and also, if you ever have any audio complaints, this is the guy you're looking this for is back me. here. Um, so welcome to Two Guys in a Soundboard. We're going to walk you through... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Hashtag um, Two Guys in a Soundboard. <laughs> Okay, um, they're never going to let us do this again. No. Nope. Uh, so we, well, we might as well have fun with it while we can. Uh, welcome to today's uh, Valley Briefing. Uh, we're here to update you on all things Valley. And um, yeah, hopefully just encourage you a little bit to, uh, to press into God more. And uh, yeah, so uh, one of the big things that we have coming up is, uh, I probably should have had a table, right? Mm -hmm. um, one of the big things we do have coming up is uh, we do want you to share uh, your God stories. Uh, mm -hmm. There still are God stories happening. God is moving. Uh, God is actually uh, really coming through for, for a lot of people. And, and I understand that a lot of people are in, in harder situations. Uh, but, but, but God is still on the throne, and he is still coming through. And uh, we want to hear your God stories. So uh, a neat thing we kind of came up with is... Uh, you can probably, you know, everyone is probably stuck in their house with a lot mm -hmm. of time on their hands. Uh, there's a few tips that you can do uh, to share a God story with us uh, here at Valley. And, uh, you know, we'll kind of pray over them and, and look through them and, and see what kind of, uh, what we can share, you know, to encourage other people. So quick tips, you know, have your phone. Everyone has uh, the best camera, I always say, is the one that's with you. Um, you have a most likely a great uh, camera on your phone, um, so <laughs> unless you have an Android. But no, you have an iPhone, I have an now, iPhone so, now. Yeah, he has an iPhone now, so he joined the Apple Club. Um, the uh, quick tips: find a quiet room in mm -hmm. your house. Um, ideally, you want you know like a soft window, like window light coming in, like that outdoors daylight coming in, not the sun shining directly through the window, but you want kind of like that indirect light, like it's so bright outside, right? But it's, it's, it's coming in and that's like a, it's like a light that's basically like what is lighting us right now. Um, and you know, feel free to, to do the old selfie thing and speak right to camera. Like this. Sideways, Not please. like this. Well, like this. Vertical may be fun. It may be an interesting editing time for Kevin. If I, for me? <laughs> yeah, I'll give, I'll give Kevin those ones to edit. If he, uh, I'm, the, I'm the main video editor here at Valley, so. Uh, but I'll give you those ones if, if, no, if they send we'll them do, in we'll vertical. No, we'll go this way. That'll uh, make it far easier. Yeah, we will go this <laughs> way on those. Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, hit record and, and do your thing and try to keep it uh, short and sweet and uh, let us know what, what God's doing, how God is moving um, out there. It, it's kind of hard, you know, not being able to uh, catch up with people in the in-betweens of service and mm -hmm. whatnot. So, so this is a way that we can hear back from you guys yeah. and, and see what God's up to in your lives. And um, also, it's, it's a, it, we would love to have it be an incredible way for the body to be able to encourage the body. Because there's a lot of times where we, we, whether we're on staff here at the church or even the pastoral shit here, or even uh, people you look up to as ministers or leaders in the church, we're the ones that are constantly encouraging you guys but God calls the body to encourage the body and lift the body up um, and lift each other up in prayer yep. and so we just thought it would be a really really good time for you guys to really be the body even though most of you guys are probably stuck at home um, to really encourage uh, the church and maybe even the church outside of Valley because I know there's a lot of other people out there who are uh, don't go to Valley or don't attend here who need encouragement as well. So we are putting these videos out there. We're gonna edit them um, and uh, tell you guys a story for uh, the church to be encouraged. Yeah, amen. And uh, speaking of being encouraged, uh, uh, there are job opportunities yes. that we heard of. Um, um, so there's a lot of, right now there's a lot of you at home um, and uh, you guys are really worried about where money might be coming from, but there's a lot of companies out there who are putting out some very temporary work over the next couple months who desperately need the help. Sam's Club, Target, CVS, Smith's, Albertsons, Amazon. Amazon's a big one. Amazon is hiring thousands and thousands of people just over the next couple months because they're so backed up. Um, I know a couple of people who work at Amazon 
and they put a hold on the vast majority of personal items for the last five weeks and they were only shipping the, the essential items. So those are all backed up. If any of, you, any of you were wondering why your items weren't showing up, that's why. Um, but they desperately need help, um, whether it's a driver or in-house work or warehouse guy and AutoZone. AutoZone, AutoZone, I didn't even see that until I just, just now. AutoZone, yeah. apparently AutoZone needs some uh, and temporary employees. So if you guys are looking for uh, just temporary work, some extra income to ride this thing out, um, those are great places to look. Also, for me personally, um, right when this thing started to hit, um, I knew right away that God was telling me to just sit still and just wait, not do anything. Just be patient and be still. And um, I really took that to heart. And there's been a couple days where I've worked here and there. I've come to the church here and helped out and worked here a couple of days. Um, I've also, I, I work here in a town for a rental company uh, sometimes and they got really bogged down. Um, so even though everything is on, is shut down on the strip, which is where we do most of the work, uh, they actually had a bunch of companies from all over the country call in asking for laptops because all their employees are at home. So we went in and re-imaged a bunch of laptops, 5,000 laptops in just a couple of days, and we shipped those out all over the country. So, um, but outside of that, God has really taken to heart, or God has really impressed upon my heart to just be still and just trust Him and, um, and really just dive into His presence. Definitely. Yeah, that's I mean, that's what I've been hearing a lot lately uh, being, you know, we're, we're thankful that uh, we still have to put on a live stream. And and so we're, there's still a little bit of need for Kevin and I to be here on Wednesdays and Sundays. But um, outside of that, you know, being at home with the wife and kids, um, I have three small kids, uh, seven, five and two years old uh, and my beautiful wife, who I've been married to for uh, almost nine years now. And and, uh, you know, where uh, I see the enemy creeping in. It's, uh, you know, it, it, it's, a, it's a scary thing. Uh, we're, we're stuck inside together. Uh, my wife homeschools already, but it's, um, you know, to, to, to not be able to leave the house, um, we start butting heads a lot. And mm -hmm. there, it can be room for the enemy to creep in and, and to try to disrupt some things there. Um, and I've been really convicted lately that, um, you know, I am not. Uh, I'm I'm not being there present with my family. I'm stuck in my phone. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. So although you know that's our one source of information, and you know that's where we're going to be posting the job postings that you know all those companies that are hiring. Look out for that on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, d don't take this opportunity to just be stuck in your phone 24/7. Uh, uh, invest in your family, set mm -hmm. the phone aside. God's been impressing that a lot on my heart lately. And uh, today I'm really gonna put, try to put that into practice um, and, and really just be there and, and give them attention and not just physically be there and not be there mentally. Yeah, So that leads perfectly into um, something that was really on my heart this morning and it's out of Ephesians 5, um, verse starting at 15. It says, look carefully then how you should walk, not as the unwise, but as the wise, making the best use of your time because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Um, That's good. There, this is a perfect time because so much of us spend anywhere between eight to 12 hours of the day um, during most of the week in some cases um, just trying to make ends meet, just trying to be there for your family, just trying to um, work or what, whatever you guys do between those eight to 12 hours a day outside of sleeping. Um, we, got, we all have a lot of time now on our hands. Make use of your time wisely. And with Instagram, it's very easy to get bogged down. Um, there's a couple sites I was following when this thing broke out, just, try, just keeping track of new cases or things that were happening in the world. And I've had to force myself to just put my phone aside and read a book. Like yesterday, I spent hours just reading a book. I haven't done that in a long time. And uh, I really, really enjoy it. And it was, it, was, it was really nice just being able to relax, forget about things, and just read a book. Um, so just make the best use of your time. It doesn't even have to be anything spiritual. Like it could just it could just be sitting um, with your family, maybe watching a movie with your family, yeah. playing with your kids if you have them. Um, if you're single, it could be reading a book. 
Uh, maybe it could be playing a card game. Um, it could be so many different things that... FaceTime someone. <laughs> FaceTime someone. We have a group of guys that try to meet, that we meet up every Monday. Yeah. And uh, yesterday we couldn't meet up because everything's closed. So <laughs> we decided to do Google Hangouts and that didn't work. So we ended up doing FaceTime. Yeah, we and, all had iPhones, thank God. So. Yeah, so we took a picture <laughs> of it and it's like, like, don't let the current situation dictate what you do and do not do but also use the current situation to um, think outside the box to still st stay in community with each other. FaceTime, um, Google Hangouts, there's all kinds of things for you guys out there to just stay in contact with each other, lift each other up, encourage each other. Awesome. Uh, so with that, um, Kevin and I both have something on our hearts that we want to pray for. So uh, you can open up and then I'll close out and uh, that'll be our time. Thank you for joining us and uh, yeah, go for it, brother. God, we just lift up today um, this entire situation, this entire season, everything that's going on. We know you did not cause it, but I know that you're using it to advance your kingdom. You're in the middle of everything that's going on in, in this incredibly chaotic season. But for some reason, you just love thriving in chaos. When we think it's chaos, you think it's the perfect opportunity to advance your kingdom. And uh, we just choose to step into your will we just choose to step into your peace and your holy spirit and operate outside of what you're doing father or operate inside of what you're doing and what you're choosing to do um uh, we lift up our, our leaders, both in the church and in our government. Uh, whether we agree with our Give leaders or not, especially our politicians, God, we Give ask for a spirit of wisdom. Give we ask for a spirit of peace and discernment, God, to just fall upon them. Give them incredible insight into situations that maybe data has not come out yet. Maybe give them to give them. Uh, wisdom in the decisions that they're making. Give them the surround our leaders, our presidents, our governors, our mayors with people that are filled with your Holy Spirit, Father. Um, I know you've been doing that a lot lately. I keep seeing Holy Spirit filled politicians and God just, it's, it's an incredible thing to just sit back and watch you do such an incredible work. But God, we just lift our leaders up to you. Yes, amen. And Father, we just pray in Jesus' name that your Holy Spirit would keep and guard truck drivers that are on the road still, um, place angels around medical staff and doctors and nurses as they're working around this thing that you know the government has quarantined us from. Um, we're we're working uh, we're in obedience to that in in staying in our homes and and closing businesses. But there's still people that need to work and and need to get the job done to to help out as best they can. So Father, I just pray that you place angels around mm -hmm. them to keep them yes, safe God. as they're driving around. Uh, place a barrier around them so that they don't get sick, and mm -hmm. just use them. Give them wisdom and discernment um, as they're making decisions. Give them. Just, just give them little words of knowledge that they can help to uh, encourage people that mm -hmm. are in hospital beds that are yes. that are there with yes. them. Uh, truck drivers as they go and meet um, the few people that they're dropping off shipments to mm -hmm. use them. God speak through them to encourage uh, your people, and we love you and just we thank you so much for um, just the fact that we can still openly just say your name uh, in public. So mm -hmm. thank you in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you guys. Uh, tune in tomorrow for more of the Valley Briefing. Have a great day.